Thanks for joining us today. This is the co-founder of Brilliant Directories, Jason Halusam. In today's video, I want to show you some of the settings for setting up a members-only website. Perhaps you have premium content that only certain membership levels have access to, such as articles or coupons or videos. If you're setting up a private portal uh, to search the member database, maybe the public can't search your membership database and you have to be a member to log in. You can also set up access and uh, restriction privileges uh, for that sort of thing. So just to show you what we're going to set up, I'm going to use uh, our, our demo site, demobootstrap.com, as uh, an example. This is a clone of that one. And if, you have, if you're working on the demo bootstrap site or if you have one of our uh, free trials out uh, testing your own directory, you can try some of these applications to set up your own members, members only website. So a members only website, what does that do? Well, if someone tries to go into an internal page that's beyond your home page or um, what we call a, a public safe a page such as the contact us page, um, they'll be redirected to the login page just like this with a message that says you must log in to view this page. Another type of page that people can be redirected to for members only content is a message like this. This content is for members only and the system knows if they need to log in or become a member or if they're an existing member if they need to upgrade to a premium membership level to access that type of content. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to set up your site uh, so that people don't have access to certain types of content. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, go to the Brilliant Directories uh, website and just log in. There's different levels of members only. So I'm going to start with the most basic and then I'll go into the more granular types of members only features that you can tap into. The most uh, obvious one and simplest one is in your general settings. There is an option here for a members only website. If you set this to yes, the only public pages that people would be able to access um, are pages such as the login page so they can log in in the first place, your home page, the page where you offer your membership level, so you're giving them an opportunity to uh, join your website, um, the contact page, and um, also I think there's like a how it works page so that people can uh, you know, know what your organization uh, is about. Now, I've already set the site to uh, members only. Let me save my changes here. And let's see what happens when I try to go to, for example, uh, coupons. I'm redirected to the login page that lets me know that I need to log in. Let's try to uh, conduct a search. I'll just do an open search for members. And again, I'm redirected to the page that is asking me uh, to log in. So this is one level. Um, it just locks down uh, all the internal pages besides the general pages of your site. Now I'm going to put this back to no. Okay, great. So now I should be able to go to the coupons yep, and all the internal pages. Now, the second level of uh, setting up a members only site is you can currently, these are, these are what we call member features, the events, the coupons, job postings, any type of content that could be published is considered a member feature. And you can choose for a member feature to always be public or you can choose that only certain membership levels can view certain types of content. So you might have a coupon section, but you might also have a premium coupon section that only premium members would be able to access. So right now, all the membership features are set to always show the content. They're always public content. So whether you're logged in or no matter what your membership level is, you'll be able to access the content. And we'll use coupons in this example today of how we're going to restrict the coupon feature uh, to be a members only feature and a premium feature. So even if you are a member, you have to be a premium member to access it. So the first thing we want to do is go into the admin area and under members, we want to go to our member features. Uh, you'll have a list of the member features on your site, such as the products and properties and photo albums. Again, to remind you, this is the type of content you or your members can publish. So I'll scroll down to coupons and we'll click on edit. And once you're in the coupons uh, edit feature mode, 
just scroll down a little bit and you'll see this option here always show content so currently it's set to yes so as long as you're not in the general settings a members only website any public member or person would be able to search coupons and see details about coupons I'm gonna go ahead and set this to no now that this is set to no only certain membership levels that can view coupons, and we're going to show you that in just a moment, will be able to view this specific coupons feature. And a quick tip, you can use Control S to save changes instead of having to scroll back up to save your changes. So if you're in the middle of a document, you can do a quick Control S and that uh, saves some time when you're saving. So now I am not logged in as a member and I'm going to try to access coupons once again. And now I've received the message that this content is for members only and I need to log in or become a member and there are links to the login page and the, uh, the membership uh, level options page here. So we've just locked down uh, the coupon. So let's log in as a member and let's get access to the, uh, the coupon feature. So just as a quick thing, as a member, you are the owner of your own directory, so you can log in as any member uh, on your site. Um, let's do this. Um, let's log in as a, this is a basic member, Catherine Hunt. I'm going to log in as Catherine Hunt. Perfect. So Catherine is logged in. And before I click on coupons to see if she can access it, let's check the settings of the basic membership level. So you can edit your membership levels like the, the restrictions and privileges to your membership levels in two different places. One, you can get a, a right here um, next to the member. It shows what membership level they're on. Or you can go to the actual membership level page here. I'll open it in a new tab. And you can edit your membership levels here. Uh, in this example, let's just edit it here. Let's click on basic. And this is our basic membership level. I love that our system has over 40 privileges and restrictions that you can set for different membership levels because it really gives you control over who is a premium member and really incentivizes members to upgrade to the higher membership levels in your, in your organization. Uh, what I'm going to do is scroll down to, the, uh, to this area, select feature access for this membership level. So in this section, um, You'll notice that it has the same membership features when we went to go ed edit the coupons feature. These are all the available features on your site. And you can choose which members can post content, such as creating a coupon on the site, and which members can view content. So if the membership features is, is already set to always show content yes, then the can view won't really matter for that feature. But in our coupons example, we already set it to always show content is no. So I'm going to make sure that this that basic members can view um, coupon content. And I'm just going to use Control S to save my changes. It was already checked, actually. And if we go back to the coupons page and click on it, you'll see, first of all, I'm logged in as the Pro Tennis Academy. And now I can see coupons because my membership level, my basic membership level, has access to do this. Now let's uh, quickly edit that. Let's remove access for coupons. Let's remove the can view coupons and control S to save. And I'm going to go ahead and try to access coupons as a basic member. And I should get a message. It's it knows I'm logged in. It says this content is for upgraded members and it's going to direct me to my upgrade page. I'll go ahead and click on that. So now I'm being um, um, asked to uh, upgrade my my membership level here. Let's go back to coupons. All right, so that in a nutshell is how you can make your entire website members only. And in addition to that, you can not only make it members only, but you can restrict certain features for certain membership levels. I hope this was helpful in uh, showing you how uh, you can really set up your site to restrict and, and give access to certain types of content. Um, as well as uh, publishing rights. So you can choose which members can actually create or post uh, certain types of content. So thanks for joining us today. And for more information on uh, members only, you can always go to our community support center, uh, ask questions from fellow directory owners like yourself, and also uh, check out our knowledge base for more information.